This is a quick video to show parking sensors fitted on this 2021 BMW Mini. Welcome back, John Cleese Car Audio. Like I said, this is a BMW Mini, which we've added front and rear parking sensors on. This is a 2021 year, quite a high spec Mini, but it didn't have the parking sensor option tick from BMW. A lot of manufacturers are like that. They give you a great spec car, even a John Cooper Works model with no parking sensors, unless you do that little tick box. So we're gonna show you what we've done. Brand wise, we fitted a Vodafone flush sensor kit, which is our most popular and probably our much preferred route of sensors that have been added. We've done front and rear. Now I'll show you the fronts first. We use a flush fit variety. So you've got your sensor mounted here and also in the plastic here and obviously the matching on the other side. Now we color code them to the car. This is like a moonwalk gray and then put a layer of lacquer on them so they're protected from stone chips and the like. And then obviously we put them in the factory position. So when you take the bumpers off, most modern cars are actually pre-marked. So we put them where exactly BMW would have fitted them from original. And that's the fronts. Let's go around the rears. Again, rears are mounted in the factory positions. Two in the color on the outer corners and two in the matte black plastic here. Again, flush fit. So what that basically means is the sensor is mounted from behind the bumper and is in line with it with a size of about a five pence piece or the end of a small finger. Rather than if you see some cars out there, they've got like a, a size of a 50 pence piece sensor stuck on the outside, which is fine. They, they do the same, same job. Parking sensors still do the same job regardless of what brand you fit, but these just look more premium. Now rears automatically selects on reverse, which we'll go inside and show you how it operates now. All right, so I'm just gonna turn the car on and just give you a quick demonstration of how parking sensors work. All I do is I put the car in reverse, I get the confirmation beep, and as I get closer and closer, the beeps will get faster and faster. It's as simple as that. I'm sure you know how parking sensors work. With the fronts, there's two ways of doing the front sensors on these cars. Now, the fronts will always come on when you put it in reverse. So you, if you're parallel parking, you do not have to hit a switch or anything. When you put it in reverse, fronts and rears are on. If you want to come forwards into a space, then we can either fit this switch in, which we've done down here. Nice subtle position out of the way, but it's very easy to get to. You just do a short press. You hear the beat, the front sensors are now on. They will stay on for about 11 seconds and then they will go off by themselves, unless obviously there is an obstacle when they will go on. Now, the other way we can do it is we can actually wire a interface in behind the scenes so they automatically come on below six mile an hour. So if you don't want to switch at all and your car's compatible, then yes, we can not have the switch and we can have it so it works on speed. This client just liked the idea of having a switch so she's not, so she knows exactly where she is and when they work and when they're not working. But entirely up to you, we can do either or. That is it on parking sensors, not much more I can say on them. You put it in reverse, they come on, they help you get into small spaces or even large spaces and they make your job easier at manoeuvring. I'm going to sign off now. It's Connor from John Cleese Car Audio. This is our YouTube channel. Max is on the camera. See you later.